You know, take downs. You can go like this with somebody, and they might know take downs. If you have such a good sprawl, you can kind of like bait them a little bit, knowing that they're going to shoot, or kind of you know coax them to shoot, so that you can sprawl on them and get your timing right. And then you're going to end up with your chest on their backs. So if I was with Jimmy here, like this, right? And we were we were going, and then he shot on me, and I sprawled down, and I got down here. Look where I'm at now. I'm in the front headlock position. Okay, so this is another common way that you can get into this position. So, we're here, we're moving Jimmy shoots, I sprawl back, and my right arm is gonna go around Jimmy's head, and my left arm is gonna go around his arm, like underneath his arm. Don't do this. Because when you do this, it's easier for the person to do is sit out and start getting out. From there, get his guard back sit through. Like if Jimmy had both his arms around my waist, it's easier for me to sit out than if I have a front headlock position on him. Okay? So he shot in on me and I sprawled. Let me go on this side. This arm is around his head. This arm is over his, um, his arm here. Now from here, what I'm going to do is, just like what we talked about yesterday, I'm not going to pull his arm in by his tricep, because he has power to push back. Here, okay? I'm gonna go down by his elbow, because now he doesn't have the power to push back. Okay, you feel the difference? Sure. So I'm here, he tries to push back, if I'm pushing by the tricep, I wanna get down lower by his elbow. So now I can get his arm underneath his body. Now my left hand is gonna grab his tricep closer to the elbow. I keep my shoulder on top of him, so this way it makes it hard for him to get his arm out. It makes it harder for him to pull his head out. Try to pull your head back. I keep this pressure on top of the back of his head. Now from there, my right arm goes over his waist. My left knee goes in. My left arm is going to go around his head, and then I can either grab the harness or I can still get a one-on-one. -on -one like we did with the gi on, okay? Lots of times with no gi, I'm gonna get a hardest grip on him. So you just wanna get used to getting in this position, controlling the arm, so in that way you can dictate if you're gonna attack from the front or if you wanna be on the side, okay? So we're gonna start from here. Your partner's gonna shoot in on you, and you're gonna sprawl back, making sure your hip is down. From here, my right arm is around his neck, I'm holding my wrist like this. I go down by his elbow and I pull his arm in. My right hand grabs his arm closer to the elbow and I keep pressure down on his back. My left knee goes inside. It's hard for him to stop me because he can't get his elbow back. This hand goes around his waist and I clear this back. And I grab my hardest grip from here. I keep my chest on his back and I keep this control. Okay. So we're here, we're standing up. We're start from standing. Tim's gonna come inside, he's gonna shoot. Boom, I sprawl. I get my position, I have a front headlock on him. I don't have both my arms around his upper back. I have my right arm around his head, my left arm is underneath his arm. I'm holding my wrist and I go down by his elbow so I can bring it in. My right hand feeds in and I grab here. I want to keep my ribs and my body down. If I'm like this, he's going to be able to pull his head out. Okay? If I keep my ribs down and he goes to pull his head out, he's going to have trouble pulling his head out. From there, my left hand goes here, my knee goes in, right arm goes around his neck, left arm goes underneath his arm, and then I grab my arm.